What we do here is go back, 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 back. back. Welcome everybody to Stray Spa's Long Beach. So we're not actually staying in the town itself. Um, we're staying just outside of, of Stray Spa in a on a farm called Zutendals Valley. Um, right now we're in the in the harbour. There should be stingrays here because they're attracted to the sound of the boat's motors. But there aren't any stingrays here right now because it's low tide and they only come when it's high tide and the and the boats are being launched. Um, we were staying here for a few days, about five days. We're going to be spending our time fishing, uh, swimming, snorkeling, and uh, oh yeah, we were going kayaking in Hermanus for for one of the mornings. That should be fun. Um, yeah, so uh, hopefully it's going to be a, a fun few days for us. Good morning everybody, we are at De Mont Nature Reserve, which is um, eastwards of Stray Spy and we're here to we're here to do some fishing. De Mont obviously meaning the mouth, a place where the river meets the sea. So this is yeah, an estuary as I said, this is an estuary, um, there are plenty of fish in here, this is a prime fishing spot. So, so yeah, I mean, look, check this out. is exactly the point, okay, there, that is exactly the point where the Indian Ocean meets the Atlantic Ocean. It's the southernmost tip of Africa, I mean, it's, well, this is, this is a gallus, yeah, it's, it's really, this is a really popular place. It's packed here, so I don't know, we're not going to get a picture on the point, I don't think. But we just came here to see what it's like, I've never been here before, but it's, it's really nice. So this is going to be our southernmost tip of Africa because that one's really popular. So this is the official tip of Africa. That way is the Atlantic and that way is the Indian Ocean. And in the middle is Cameron. Gallus National Park right now. So all of this is indigenous vegetation. Um, and and what you just saw now were uh, was a Malachite sunbird. He's, he's meant to be fully green, but he's just uh, he's in non-breeding colours at the moment. And a greater double coloured sunbird, also juvenile. And they sunbirds have that specialized long thin beak which they use to um, eat the the nectar inside of inside of 
these tubular flowers, these coastal aloes. So it's really important to have this area. I mean, without this, without the, the coastal habitat here, these plants wouldn't grow and the sunbirds would die. They wouldn't have anything to eat. So, so yeah, it's important. Second